spring. I had made a video about making the more robust flux to use uh, for soldering on zinc. Uh, but what you need to understand or try to understand is that the more robust flux winds up being also a patina for lead. So if you're not careful. So what I wind up doing is tinning my lead first, especially around the edges, okay, because if I solder or get my robust flux on the lead before I've tinned it, then I've accidentally patinaed it and it makes it difficult to solder to it without burning the lead. And when we use the term burning, it means that we've melted it and it's disappeared, which we don't always necessarily want to do that. So I'm tinning my lead first, where it's going to be in contact with the uh, zinc and the more robust flux. So, that's what I'm doing here, because as I detailed in another, in the first video, this, this thing has uh, what we call rosettes, which are decoration that go on the, over the lead uh, solder joints on the front and the back. So. This is a regular flux that I use. This is the more robust flux. Okay. And you can watch it almost want to eat into. So now you do have to be careful with the fumes. I've got a ceiling fan going. It's going to blow the fumes away. That's a pretty good joint bead for solder onto zinc. You want it to be flattish. And of course, that gets covered with a rosette. half a rosette. Come back to that because it's too hot. The other thing about soldering the zinc is that it takes a lot of heat out of your iron. It's basically a heat sink, as is your solder. Too often we get folks that are soldering there. They don't have it. Turning up the iron is wonderful, but your iron's not a hose. It's not like turning up the water pressure and getting more stream out of it. Okay. It'll suck the heat out of your iron. <clears throat> because your iron's doing its job. It's heating your solder. It's melting the solder. But that takes heat out of your iron when it does that. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So we often have to cut the iron down for a second or two to get it to what we call idle, to let it idle so the heat will build up again. This is what I'm doing here. So. probably can't see this one. Let's see. 
out of out of frame here.